Alan, welcome to Homsley. <laughs> uh, I think there's a few emotions out there, but when the, a coach first comes in, really it's about a performance and a reaction. Do you think you got that today? Yeah, I feel we got that. I feel we got performance. Like I say, I'm a bit drained after that. Uh, we won it, we lost it, we won it again, and, uh, and obviously we drew it in the end. But um, I want to give credit to, to some people around the place this week who helped get that performance. You know, I've just come in, but Ryan Jackson's been great. Um, and the senior players have been excellent as well, so and all the people off the field as well have helped. So it's been a good week, and uh, hopefully we can move forward now off the back of that performance. Look, it's one more point than we've had in the last two weeks. We've got to take a positive there, and I felt that we play Keithley back into the game, and if we get a bit smarter. We'll, we'll be getting maximum points in the next few weeks. Carried on the tradition of having injuries early on, uh, with Brad here, I think coming off, so that again reduces your, your bench. Um, how do you overcome something like that, and, or did you think that the, the, the team did overcome that? Yeah, I thought they did, and I thought um, Liam Ray came on had a, had a, had a really good game. You know, two people in there who aren't regular back rowers, and you know, Brad A not added on to the week we've had. You know, lost Straff with COVID, uh, Don Bran Barney. Um, so we've had, a, we've had a, a, our issues, as have Keithley, and as have other clubs, and it's it's about um, you know next man up, next man. Up. Up syndrome, next person comes in and, and, and does the job, and I thought uh, Liam came off the bench and did that today very well. Um, you know, maybe we could have staggered our changes a little bit, and that's on me, but I'll, I'll learn the players and learn what minutes they've got in them over the next few weeks, and, and, and then we can, we can uh, see what's best course in terms of our bench and, and how we rotate throughout the game. You're just saying it was ups and downs, 10 0 is not the ideal thing and then suddenly the character comes back in 12 10 up at half time um, and all to play for really second half get a good what looked a comfortable lead only to slip in the last few minutes yeah we probably got too comfortable um, and we went away from the things that were working for us i think maybe we tried to overplay at times as well which was disappointing um so we, we we took the one penalty and i don't really like taking the next one but i just thought we we were a bit scrappy with the ball, a bit scratchy, but you're going to get that. There's a new spine in there from, from the last game, two new halves and a full back, or sorry, a new half and a, a new full back. So we just thought we'd take the points on offer and you know, I'm glad we did, you know, in the end now. Um, I just felt that, like you say, you'll get what you get from my teams, we never give up. 10 0, 12 0, we'll, we'll come back. And, um, and it was a bit of a swing, we, we could have been 6 0 up. You know, Browning needs to score that try, and then he does it in the next set, they score. Um, and then we, we, we let them off the hook at times, their uh, body language was, was uh, that we, they were ready to go and, and I thought in the first half we, we let them off the hook and, um, and that got them in the lead. Like you say, when we started playing, when we were being ruthless and completing our sets, we, we scored about 20, 20 on of points. Uh, and that's one of the things that's been lacking a little bit, is that ruthlessness and just to get enough points in front without actually sitting back and saying we've won it, having enough in the bag and then being confident enough to play and take uh, teams on and we've always let teams back in uh, for a, a good number of seasons, it's not just over the last one. Uh, can you fix some of that up? Do you think you can shore it up a little bit yeah, and, yeah, and no, get that into play as much? Yeah, I have, to. I have to. That's my job and that's the, 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 the coach staff's job and the players need to buy into that. Um, and, it, and it is a mindset, it's, it's, you know, let's get the next try, we get 8 points, so let's be 14 points, so 14 with 20, we don't, we believe it's a momentum sport, you, you know that, you can be you can be 18 points up with 5 minutes to go and, and still lose, that's what we believe is like, you know, if, you, if you're losing the ball and they went back to back and all we needed to do was defend that set from the kickoff and I feel we win the game and that's just being a bit smarter. And, our, our, D, our D dropped off and they rolled us up the field and they scored a soft try and, and to to, um, to make things worse they scored it right near the post so, so they kicked the goal. Even then at the end we had an opportunity with, with the ball, we did well to, to stop Scott Morell having a, having a crack because I've seen Scott kick drop goals from there. Uh, so we got in his face, he dropped the ball and you know we had our, our chance but you know, it was probably a bit further out and maybe um, Coleman was a better option to take that kick with, with a boot on and, and we some bad decision making in the second half um, could have been a lot better and I think that was a decision there when we just went to give on the left. It wasn't a bad effort but um, actually it wasn't the glory kick we were all after. Is that something you can bring in in culture and, and being able to do that? Uh, change that, that, that mentality on the field to, to 
to get people to be able to do what you need them to do. Yeah, there's, there's two things. There's the game management side of things and the technicalities and the, um, the, the gameplay, but then there's the other stuff like you said, being ruthless, being, being having that desire. They're all, they're all things that really, if you like, you can't coach them. They're not, they're not rugby league things. But we can engrave them in our team, and that's what teams will have. My teams will be ruthless. They will have that desire. They will have that will to win. The other part of it, the decision making, uh, the, the skills, the skills under pressure. That's the technical, tactical side of things. And um, myself and my staff will be working on that next week. Well, well done today. Even though it was only a point, but I'm sure you're, you're happy with certain parts of it. So, uh, and I know coaches are never happy. Uh, there's always something to work on. All the best next week for Doncaster. Thank you.